Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbing. Where are we at? We're in Wisconsin. Bailey's Harbor to be specific. On the peninsula, right? The little finger? Yes, this is in Door County. So this is that little part of Wisconsin that kind of sticks out into Lake Michigan. Um, we came here to visit uh, Lambeau Field. Yeah, our yeah, plans got derailed. Yeah, it got derailed a little bit. You'll see later yeah. on why. Yeah. But uh, this is a beautiful like little coastal town. Reminds me a lot of the coastal towns around Maine, like a Camden. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think. Uh, and we found a really nice campground here. We're gonna talk about that campground. It's brand spanking, spanking new. It just yep. opened, and uh, super nice. So stay super tuned nice. for a look at what a brand spanking new campground looks like. We're also gonna go to a restaurant that has a very unique, unique yes. feature. And so uh, stay tuned to this episode as we hit Wisconsin. Yep. And what have we found here? Looks like they have live music here. Oh, nice. We of course are at. North County Brewery. What do you say, beans? Maybe a beer? Not yeah, feature? absolutely. Why not? Let's do something Let's different. Let's do it. So this place must be really fun at night because it's got a fire pit behind you. All the lights are on the uh, little beer serving stations here and in the stage. I think this would be a really fun venue. We are at the beer garden. Yes. We are at Dovetail Acres. Acres RV Park and it is a brand spanking new RV park. They were scheduled to open in spring of 2020 and obviously the whole <laughs> they COVID didn't open thing. at all last year. So. This is their first year opening and we were looking for a campground on the weekend which so far has been our only difficulty and I think because they're brand spanking new they had a lot of availability. Well they also have a three night minimum stay during the peak season. Right and that probably didn't help but um, the one thing you know when we look upon our 19 years of hitching and unhitching we have had relatively few um, we show up and it was like about the torrential downpour right big time thunderstorms they we were under a tornado watch and we still are technically but so we hitched up we hooked up uh, the critical services like electric and water and it came down like the proverbial racehorse urinating on a flat rock I mean it was coming we had to have gotten a couple of inches of rain in just an hour or probably so. it was really I coming mean down. it poured and you can see look at this Look at our campground. As Cindy pans around our campground, is absolutely free of water. The drainage ditch in the back worked perfectly. Um, just a few puddles in the driveway, but our campground is dry. It's the dry. drainage ditch worked exactly like it should, which is great. Awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll take a closer look at the services, but that was our emergency uh, kind of quickie <laughs> unhook and. Yep. Uh, I and just, the lady was super nice. She told us that when we checked in that they were having a tornado watch. And where to go to. We knew that anyway, but yes. Um, yeah, so we'll take a closer look at the services. It's full hookups, Wi Fi after over two months, almost three months of uh, city the, parks and state parks having almost no. It's just going to be. This is like a vacation. What do you call it, Sin? <laughs> a vacation from our vacation. Right, so we just needed a few days to. Of, be to able to hook up to Wi-Fi, get some emails, respond catch to Catch up stuff, and just not up. have to worry about water or sewer or anything like that. Yeah, it's going to get with, some laundry done too. We have had almost no water hookups our entire time. And uh, yeah, we're going to whip out the carpet, do some laundry and go from there. Yep, should be fun. So we're in Wisconsin at Sister Bay and we scored some dried maitake mushrooms. And so I'm going to rehydrate them for my pizza. But I'm going to try something different because I've not tried this before. But the liquid that they rehydrated with, I'm going to put in my pizza dough and see if it flavors the pizza dough, right? Ooh. Why not try that? That's like advanced pizza dough technique. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. But to uh, complete my pizza recipe, I need to add a little bit of sugar. I'm going to add this honey that the lady at Lebanon was so kind to give to us. And it was the honeybee person and just look at how golden her honey is. And it's got a honeycomb in there. That is just amazing, right? So I'm gonna add some honey. That will hopefully cool it down because it was a little hot because you don't wanna overheat your yeast. Um, yeah, maybe. 
You know what? I might throw in a little bit white. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of my cold white wine. This pizza recipe is getting better and better. Oh uh, yes. Okay. You have to be very careful with the temperature of your yeast because you do not want to kill your yeast if you put it into too hot of water. And that water was boiling for the maitake mushrooms. So what happens if your yeast gets drunk on the wine? Well, actually, you know what? Yeast basically eats sugar and the, the, eats the sugar in the flour and produces alcohol. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, it doesn't drink wine, but it produces it, right? All right. So we're going to give that a shot, give it five minutes to proof, and we'll see how this turns out. Should be interesting. And you can see the sun is shining with a stormy back end. Yes, it was. So what are you doing, Beans? Oh, this is a balsamic vinegar drizzle. Drizzle. I think that's going to be amazing. Just sip everything off. Perfect. All right, you can see the entryway to the campground here. We actually missed this coming in because you can see the campground is actually the entryways into a gas station, which may seem like, you know, not the most picturesque, and it certainly is not. You can see the campground back there. But like I said, for our vacation, this was absolutely perfect. You get propane fill, you can get gas there quickly. You can see here a nice panorama of the campground. As we've said before, beautiful pull-through sites, easy back-end sites. And this is a weekend in Door County, Wisconsin, one of the popular vacation settlements here. Only about a mile and a half from uh, Sister Bay, which was one of our favorite towns. But yeah, perfect site for us to do our vacation. So we're gonna show you a little bit of our campground. As we normally do. So yeah, we're at site 29. Um, yep, let's go ahead and take a look around. As I said, it's really level. We only use, had to use half inch block on one side. Really nice gravel surface. This is probably my second favorite surface. Beyond Not pavement. Really only asphalt. Yeah. Uh, the, the mud just went everywhere. Splatters when it rains just and just makes a mess. Total mess. So this is much better stuff. I really like this as a surface for a campground. Yep. See the drainage ditch from that torrential downpour we had? It has already dried up actually. Yeah, but again, new campground, they've definitely got the design of it. Uh, it functional. was thoughtful that they had the sloping to the ditch there yep. because otherwise we would have been in puddles. Yeah, and there's nothing worse than you get in a nice dry campground, you're all set up, everything's good, a downpour occurs, and your campground's flooded. Right. Services are brand spanking new as would be expected. Mm. Look how nice. Yeah, so you have 30 amp, 50 amp, 20 amp, all your breakers, a little light uh, that, you know, I suppose could be irritating, but it doesn't irritate us too much. The only problem was sleeping was the bathroom light was a little bright, right, from the front? Well, and that was only because I got up to see the Perseid meteor shower at 4 o'clock in the morning, and I couldn't, it was too much light pollution to get a good view. Okay. That has nothing to do with us sleeping or the camper, it was just, you know, the meteor shower but you can see we have full hookups here uh now why do we have two sewer i don't know uh, i don't know every other one has two so uh it worked out it worked out well for the cup it but it was right. just odd to me that they have two sewer uh drains i think it's because some of and i'm just don't quote me on this because it's not our rig but i think some of the big like fifth wheels and stuff that might have two bathrooms or the sink for the kitchen is wildly separated from the huh, I never really bathroom. thought about They'll that. They'll have two gray holding tanks, so one will go for that one and one will go for this wow, one. Wow, that's, that's some forethought, right? I, I'm thinking that's what it, it is. So, um, but nevertheless, for us, we don't obviously don't need that. You can see the stinky slinky goes down and then up. It's a little bit of a pain. You have to massage your stinky slinky, but it's certainly not worth me uh, lifting the airstream no. for any reason. Um, so we got our water hook up here and yep. notice our nice new coiled hose which has been very very nice yeah that, we bought that from airstream life uh rich lauren the guys yep. at the international rally yep. that was uh, a little gift to myself and somebody comment who knows electricity much better than i i often i every now i do i either twirl it up in the coil or i leave it like this it leave, depends leave it upon long. my mood 
I'm trying to figure out if there's any advantage to doing this versus coiling it and for forming some electromagnetic field that shouldn't be there. Yeah, somebody, I don't know. Somebody comment below if, they, if you have if an you, opinion one way or the other. If you know other. what you're talking about. <laughs> and then finally, the one thing that we love about this place is the Wi-Fi here is great. In fact, look at all of these receivers everywhere. They're everywhere. I am pretty convinced that with all these Wi-Fi, I could put... I'm going to put my ear up to the airship. I think the metal is humming with Wi-Fi signals. Hmm. I hear the Sioux locks in the ocean. I don't really hear any humming. Uh -huh. Anyway, Wi-Fi is great. Yep. This has been a great vacation for us. So as we said before, sometimes full-timers or part-time full-timers need a vacation. Yep. This place was absolutely perfect for it. Awesome. So this is a good map of where we are, and we are here at Sister Bay. Our campground is probably about right there. It was only like two miles away. So it was a very good location in proximity to Sister Bay. And where were we in Bailey's Harbor yesterday? In Bailey's Harbor, we were down here. So not so, too far away either. Not too far away either, and that had a really nice brewery. And I hear Egg Harbor and Fishkill are also beautiful. That one? What, Fish Creek you mean? Yeah. That one and Egg Harbor. Yeah, look at that. And we came here for one primary reason, but we're gonna walk around and check things out. We came here because it is Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant yeah. and boutique. We had no idea this place existed, and we're told Cindy's parents were coming up here, and they're like, "What? Well, you gotta go to Al Johnson's." We're like, "Why? What is it?" Wait. And it's a restaurant with goats on the roof. Not kidding. And so uh, it's a Swedish restaurant boutique. We had, we're gonna go in and have some Swedish meatballs. Exactly. And um. You know, should be a lot of fun. Check things out. Should be pretty good. It's a really neat looking place. Mm -hmm. And you know, hey, goats on the roof. Yeah, you that's, gotta like that. You gotta right? like that. So as you can see, the goats are on the roof right there, and they put them on the roof every morning, and they take them from their farm at night. They have a little ramp they walk up, right? Yeah, they have a little ramp they walk up, and they're transported via a pickup truck every morning, and they get transported back to their home at the farm. That's some seriously happy goats, they say. Yes. So not only can you see the goats this way, they also have a webcam at their website just so you can see the goats from the goat cam. There's the goat cam. I don't know how bored you'd have to be to watch goat cam, but <laughs> you know what the heck. Pretty fun, right? Yeah. And you can see up here the little ramp where the goats come up and there's even a sign that says make sure the goats have water. So they've got grass up on the roof, they got water, yep, they're pretty a great happy. view, them some happy goats. Before we go inside to eat, here's another love subbing fun fact. The US Supreme Court in 2020 ruled in favor of the Swedish restaurant in a lawsuit brought by a New York attorney. The suit claimed that the goats on a roof of grass trademark was demeaning to goats. A lower federal court dismissed the suit stating that the attorney had no standing. That is, he did not suffer any damages from the phrase about the goats. Go. So we are at Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant and we are about to partake of some Swedish food including lingonberries, oh. Swedish meatballs, it should be as a lingonberry mimosa. A lingonberry mimosa, some cucumber salad, should be delicious. So we watched a YouTube video on how they make their meatballs here and it's a secret spice recipe but they go through thousands and thousands of pounds of ground beef and they actually have a press in which the beef goes in and they form this mold and the meatballs come out because they're making thousands and thousands of these a day. So um, let's go ahead and have a try. Yeah, it's ground beef, it's moist, it's very well spiced. The mashed potatoes also come with the gravy. Mm. The mashed potatoes are nice because you get a little bit of a chunk too, which is really good. They're not just like whippies. And finally the beans. And this was the entree, correct? Yes, this was the Swedish meatball entree. So uh, we're gonna put some lingonberry sauce on it. And go ahead and enjoy this delicious meal. What's your opinion of the meatball, see? Oh, it's really good. It's not overly spiced, so it's got a nice texture. Very soft and moist. So the gravy's a really nice touch, too. 
So we're just here relaxing on the uh, music pavilion here at Sister Bay where you can see Lake Michigan behind us. It's a gorgeous view here. Yeah, it's really, the breeze coming off the lake is nice so and nice. Cool. And um, yeah, so what did we get at the last place? We got, what, some goat jerky, right? I'm not sure I've ever had goat jerky. Yeah, the rumor is that those are the goats that fall off the roof. They end up as jerky, but I don't, I kind of made that up, so yeah. that may not be Either highly, that or they get scared by a drone. <laughs> yeah, that may not be highly accurate. But we also got some cheese, some cheddar from mm -hmm. uh, Door County Cheddar. And of course, there's that big debate over uh, whether Vermont or Wisconsin makes the best cheese in the country. And we certainly have our opinion, but we'll go ahead and try some of this uh, Wisconsin cheese uh, tonight, maybe for appetizers. We've got yep. a great dinner plan tonight. Should be fun. And um, hey, this is really nice with the marina. Super nice, isn't it? Yeah. Very beautiful here. Crowded, but beautiful. So there's Wisconsin. We did it. Yeah, we did it. And now we're in our next new state, which is Michigan. Which we've never had the airstream in before. Right. And we're getting some great views of the Lake Michigan beaches along this route, right? Yep, as we head off to uh, Sault Ste. Marie and someplace I've been looking to hit for many, many years now, and those are the Sioux Locks. Exactly. And that will be next week's video. Right, so if you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you've been to Michigan or Wisconsin and what your favorite place to visit was. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.